circuses. But now one legendary Australian stuntman is giving away the tricks of the trade all in the name of fitness. Well, he thinks stunt work could become the next exercise craze. Reporter Bill Bertels went along to try it out. Well, when it comes to the world of stunts, I am an absolute novice. My experience doesn't go any further than doing a somersault. But I am at a gym full of stunt experts, and they are about to put me through my pace. <laughs> Nice, Jesse. Beautiful. See so that speed across there? That's what everyone really needs to be able to do, is go across those monkey bars with that kind of speed. Tony Lynch has performed his fair share of daredevil heroics. Yeah, I think the, the scariest um, stunt was I had to do a fall off a cliff in the Blue Mountains <clears throat> attached to a rope. Because uh, I, I was doubling for a guy that was climbing and the anchor breaks and he falls. Uh, so I had to free fall probably 50 feet before the rope took up. But, you know, it was, the cliff was probably three or four hundred feet high, so if anything failed in the system, it was certain death. The veteran stuntman has been risking life and limb for the cameras for more than 25 years and has appeared in everything from police rescue to The Matrix and Mission Impossible. I busted up my shoulder pretty bad, doubling for column frills on water rats. That's probably the worst thing I've done, but heaps and heaps of cuts, bruises, abrasions. I split my head open a few times. I split my eye open uh, on a commercial. Yep, nice, Susie. Having survived this far, he's decided to take the skills he's learned to teach the next generation of stunt performers. And this gym on Sydney's northern beaches is where he hones their skills. Let's see a full rope-to-rope -rope transfer. Yeah, nice. Beautiful. While most of the regulars are aspiring performers, they say the training required for stunt work isn't just for those wanting to enter the film industry. From what I've seen and from what I've heard and from what I've done here, this it's really, really good fitness. You doing like all the parkour, which is like really full body, sort of uh, using your own body weight a lot. And um, it's just really good fitness. So then, is it possible for the uninitiated to pick up the skills? I can see what they mean about the fitness. Some people just seem to take to it more easily than others. 19-year-old Marley Barber is one of them. She began stunt training when she realised that gymnastics and swimming weren't exciting enough for her anymore. It requires... You have to be very versatile, so you have to be trained in many different areas. And, like, at the moment, coming to the gym, like, I'm learning all the basic stunt that I don't know, so all the different falls and how to fall correctly and the agility I need and all working with the ropes and all different work like that. But then I also think that, like, you need to have your body well conditioned because you take a lot of falls and impact. She trains to keep fit, but hopes stunts could one day become her job. Jesse Joseph Rolls is a fair bit further down that path. He's worked in television, films, and even dabbled in a bit of circus. And he says you can never do enough training. Well, the idea is that you train to get your body in the best condition so it can take repetitive beatings. Because if you're going to do a break, fall and land flat on your back, the first time you ever try that, you're going to wind yourself. Second time, it'll hurt, and the more you do it, it becomes the normal. Your body gets conditioned to taking a hit. Do you think people who don't have much experience, who aren't necessarily going in to be a stunt performer, do you think they can get much out of all this? They can get heaps out of it. Functional, mo functional movement is one of my favourite types of exercise because if you go do the weights, you do that and you get big pecs, but you never use that actual weight for anything. Where you come here and do functional movement, you run around, you jump around, but that's actually becomes part of it. It's stuff that you do during your normal day. Like you jump up into a box, but using those things, movements that your body does naturally and your body forms the way it should form rather than misforming it to try and look a certain way. If military style training camps can take off as a fitness craze, and if Zumba dancing can take off as a craze, 
then maybe stunts could be next. What I find when I'm training people is that it's actually hard to finish the lesson. It's actually hard to get them out the door because an hour's up and people are completely flogged. Um, and, um, but they want to keep going because it's, it's, it's fun and it's natural and you're tapping into um, your, your childhood. So don't be too surprised if you see more people swinging on ropes and jumping off rooftops in future. Getting the hang of this. Yeah, good on you, Bill. Well, this